You must deal with your mind. Galatians 6. Verse 3. Verse 3. Men think. Man is having a mind. And this mind makes him to think. Well, another word to think is to judge. 1 Corinthians 3, verse 18. Proverbs 7, verse 10. Dear Mother 1310. Proverbs 4:23. Proverbs 4:23. Your mind. Your mind produces thoughts. But your mind judges those thoughts again. So you are the one who can also check what you are thinking. Because you become what you think. Verse 5. Verse 28. I'm giving you the scriptures. Verse 28. All these scriptures are showing that we as Christians we must deal with our mind. You tell your neighbor, deal with your mind. Second Timothy. Verse 1 to 7. Verse 1 to 7. We, we, we show good characters. Because our mind is calm. Hebrews 11 verse 1. I found that you cannot have faith without your mind. Faith without your mind cannot be oper cannot, cannot be applied. Why? Because you take the word and put it in your mind. You put it in your mind yeah. and you think about it. So, so your mind is so important. Remember that you cannot please God without faith. So you cannot please God without right mind. So your mind is so important that you must take care of everything you are hearing. I don't know if you are hearing me. Faith makes you to understand. To understand that things are there without seeing them. Faith makes you to know things which are there. And which other cannot see them physically. You can you see them by your mind. The assurance is in your mind. Genesis 45. Genesis 45. If you read from verse 1, it becomes easy when you deal with your mind. Any challenge becomes challenge a plan of God for you. What you are facing is not a shame to you. It's a plan of God for your life. Deal with your mind. You will soon know why you are going through all this. You see, people can change. Don't change because they will change. Tell them, don't change your mind because they are about to change to show that God is with you don't change your mind I don't know if you are hearing me Luke 10 verse 38 to 42 those who are serving Jesus they must deal with their mind they must not look who is going to help them because it's only Jesus who understand what they are going through they must not be troubled Jesus will give them effort Jesus knows what is going on they must not blame others remove the wrong mind 
when, as if you are alone. As if you were now the adiloliti. Serve God as if you are alone. Remove whoever to is not saved. You have been appointed on what you are appointed of. If someone is sitting, it's not, it's not your responsibility. You think right for yourself and serve God as if you are we must not have thoughts about, about others when we do what God wants us to do. Remove people from your mind. Remove, remove anything that somebody said. Remove it and come and serve God as if you are doing a new thing. So when you start to serve God, your spiritual life becomes longer. Have understanding of what will happen when you are saved. If you know what will benefit, you will remove someone from your mind. You serve like stupid. God will never raise the wise. He raised the foolish ones. God will never raise the foolish ones. God will never raise the foolish ones. Be stupid for now. Be stupid for now. You'll be wise later. Be foolish now. When you are removing everyone, just remove someone. Be alone and save God. Deal with your mind. Colossians 3 verse 2. You have got ability to control your mind. Romans 12 verse 2. There are some things that God wants to do for you to prove to them that you are different, different from them. But you must start to learn differently. Your mind must change. I want to tell you that things you are going through. Those things are coming to make you to change your mind. What Satan wants you to do is to change your mind, to say this today, to say another thing to To say this another thing. To be a liar. What Jesus will do, he will make sure. He will remind you. Don't change your mind. Stand on what you believe in. This is the time of dealing with our minds. Whatever you are going through is because of what you said with your mind. Now the test has come. Are you still saying what you said? Are you still saying what you said? There is no victory without There is no victory without being challenged. There is no victory without facing a test. You must face a test. If you remove all things, it brings away, you will overcome. But if now, when you are challenged, you begin to cry, you begin to question, you begin to tell people, look what is happening to me. I've never seen what is happening. You are like you don't know God. God who knows your heart who knows what you are going through is about to fight for you. He will never leave you in the dark. He will make you to overcome what you are going through is temporary. I said what you are going through is temporary. Remove the challenge out of your mind and you will celebrate I say you will celebrate very soon. Relatives, they will deal with you. They will deal with your friends. They will run away. You will be left with your mind. Hey, don't forget. If you deal with your mind and you remove all your hearing, you bring verse. You bring a verse. You may the word of God. Everything will turn to be a blessing. Uh, I don't know if you are hearing me. No one is fighting you. It is your mind. It is your mind. No one is your enemy. It is your mind. It is your mind. You can still smile with your enemy. You can still laugh. 
No one is stealing from you. It is your mind. Deal with your mind. You realize that whoever is fighting you is fighting your God. And no one conquers you because you are not alone. You are with God. I don't know if you are hearing me. Pastor says, hey, I'm not alone. I'm with my God. I have dealt with my mind. But don't care whatever it is. I don't care what I don't care. I have dealt with my man. I have dealt. After I have dealt with my man, I began to know who's Holy Spirit. Because, because listen, you will never know Holy Spirit until you deal with him. Now you start to please God you alone. You become small. Even where you are supposed to be big, you become small. The moment when you look at other people, you think about them. You, it's you. You have no problems. You have no problems. You have no problems. The vision is in your mind. It's not there, it's in your mind. Problems is in your mind. If you are able to greet this one laughing, greet everyone laughing. The problem is your mind. How are you going to sit with the person you hate in heaven? Or when you are declaring yourself you will go to hell. Deal with your mind.